Hydrocarbons are a class of molecules composed of chains of carbon. Short, light chains, like methane, ethane, propane, and butane, tend to be gases. Long, heavy chains can range from viscous liquids to even solids. But it's the volatile liquids in the middle that are important for gasoline. When petroleum is pumped from the ground, it contains a mixture of various hydrocarbons. A technique called fractional distillation separates the hydrocarbons by length by taking advantage of the differing boiling points of each molecule. Since only the hydrocarbons from pentane to octane are used in gasoline, manufacturers can use a process called cracking to break large hydrocarbons into smaller ones and isomerization to convert small hydrocarbons into larger ones, thereby increasing the yield of middle length hydrocarbons. These molecules then make up the bulk of gasoline, along with a few additives. Most modern cars are four-stroke gasoline engines. One of these strokes is a compression stroke, where the engine compresses a mixture of gasoline and air before using a spark plug to ignite it. Two of the most important constituents of gasoline, heptane and octane, behave very differently upon compression. If heptane is compressed even a small amount, it spontaneously ignites. Octane can be compressed a large amount without igniting. These characteristics led to the octane rating given to fuel at a gas pump. Gasoline's capacity to resist spontaneous ignition upon compression is compared to the capacity of a standard mixture of heptane and isooctane. For example, gasoline with an octane rating of 90 is able to resist ignition upon compression as well as a mixture of 90% isooctane and 10% heptane can resist ignition. To make things a little more complicated, the octane rating at gasoline pumps is the average of two different values, a research octane number and a motor octane number. The RON is determined at a low engine speed of 600 revolutions per minute, while the MON is determined at a high engine speed of 900 revolutions per minute. If gasoline spontaneously ignites before it is fully compressed, high pressure builds up in the engine. This is called knocking because of its distinctive sound. While knocking, a car is much less efficient and over time this pressure can damage the engine. High performance engines found in powerful cars compress the fuel-air mixture more than normal engines do, which is why they typically require gasoline with a higher octane rating. And really, preventing knocking in high performance cars is the only reason to purchase fuel with a higher octane rating. An average car is built to run on gasoline with an 87 octane rating and it will get the same mileage regardless of which gasoline is being used. But hey, there's an excuse to purchase the cheapest gasoline on your next trip to the gas station.